Now that we have the glasses connected via Wi-Fi, we are on the host PC. We need to connect the host PC to the glasses. The way that we do that here is we come down to the wireless connections and we look for the live mod access point. It'll be it could be called live mod and a MAC address. Go ahead and just click on the uh, the live mod and let's just go ahead and click on connect. It'll attempt to make a connection to the glasses from the host via Wi-Fi. It's best if the laptop is not connected to any other network so if it's got an Ethernet connection go ahead and unplug it. This will allow you to use the default Wi-Fi wi of the host PC. So now we have a connection here. Uh, the glasses are connected. We can go to the pivot head desktop. Double click on the pivot head. And it will say that it will be connected to the live mod and ready to begin. The next step we want to do is we want to come to the settings. And we want to direct the recordings to a specified directory. Right now I've got my recordings going into a specific directory. It happens to be today's date. I want to make sure the auto detect live stream is set to on and the auto record is set to on. You can go ahead and change the directory if you wanted to uh, just by browsing the directory. The stream resolution and the stream bitrate, we want to use WVGA and 2 megabytes per second. We find that that's a good compromise between file size and resolution of the of the video stream. You can go as high as 6 megabytes per second, but we're going to leave it at 2 megabytes per second for now. Don't worry about the photo grab and the video grab. Leave those as default and go ahead and just close this window. Now we're ready to stream live. You can initiate the stream one of two ways. You can either click on this button or you can start it from the glasses with a swipe gesture. So I'm going to swipe back on the left arm to initiate the, the live stream. So now you can see the video uh, on the actual uh, host PC uh, showing the live stream. You're actually seeing what the camera is seeing. And we're going to go ahead and turn the glasses off. So after you're done creating your series of videos, you can actually turn the glasses off, go to your stream folder, and you'll see the videos that were have been created. So here's, here's my video set. I've created a series of video files with durations. These files can be easily imported into the Video Timer Pro.